Now, in this lecture, we will see uh, some of the functions related to the linked list. For example, the ordered insertion. This is the first function that we are going to discuss. The ordered insertion means the linked list contains the information in the ascending sequence, and uh, we need to perform the insertion at an appropriate position. For example, if you have to insert this 25, so 25 will be inserted in between 20 and 30. If you have to insert a 5, 5 will be inserted in the beginning. Okay. Now let's say we have to insert a 30. So a 30 is already there in the linked list. So this 30 will be inserted after the this 30, after this 30. So if uh, a 30 is already there in the linked list, this 30 will be inserted after this 30. Okay. Now if you have to insert this 60, 60 will be inserted after this 50. Okay. Now we have to write the function. So just let's say that uh, this is the start node. We are taking from our side a P which is also there at the first node. So P equals to start. And let's say we are taking a Q as null, the concept of the previous node. This will also help us here. So Q is taken as null initially. And we will traverse the linked list to find the appropriate position. Let's say the information or the uh, key which is to be inserted is key. Ordered insertion is the function. We have been given a start and a key value. Key value is required to be inserted. So we will traverse the linked list and uh, the condition for the traversal may, may be well key is greater than the information of P node. Let's say we have to insert this 25. So if we have to insert this 25, key is 25 and 25 is greater than the information of the first node that is the P node. So P will move to the next node. Okay. So for doing that P equals to P dot next. Now since P is moving to the second node, Q should move to the first node. So that can be done as Q equals to P. So wherever P was earlier, we can point Q or we can uh, redirect Q to point to that address. Okay. Now 25 is greater than this information also. We will again advance this P to here. So before moving that, we will move Q here. So Q equals to P and P equals to P dot next. Now this key 25 is not greater than this information. So it means that we need to insert now. So for insertion of the node, insertion of the node will take place before this. So how can it be taken before this? It means that after Q. Okay. So since we have traversed and we need to insert, we can say that call the insert after function and in the insert after function pass the parameter q and key because q is the node after which insertion will take uh, insertion will take place and the key is the information which is to be inserted okay now let's say this is working fine let's say we have to insert a 5 here so key is 5 so if key is 5 we have not advanced these p and the q p is here and q is null so now this key is not greater than information of p so this condition has failed key is less than p dot information so this condition has failed so since this condition has failed it means we will come out of this loop since we are coming out of this loop we have to perform the insertion operation and this in insertion of this 5 will take place in the beginning okay insertion of this 5 will take place in the beginning so how can be the information uh, can be inserted in the beginning that can be done with the help of insert beginning function and how we will identify that uh, the uh, we have to insert in the beginning neither p has moved to any position and q is also stand still so we can check if q is null it means we have to insert in the beginning okay so we can say that if q is null or here also we can say if q is not null then you have performed the insert after function otherwise 
means q is null since q is null you will perform the insert beginning operation so insert beginning start and key. fine now let's take more examples let's say we have to insert this 30 so the value of key is 30 and p is here and q is here so 30 is greater than this so i will move to this node and q will be here 30 is greater than this node so p will come here and q will come here now 30 is not greater than this so we could have stopped here and uh, might have inserted 30 after this q node it means before this 30 but that is not allowed in the beginning itself i told you if the equal information is coming it will go after the existing information it means we must apply a condition for the traversal if key is greater than or equal to p dot information we have to move further so since 30 is greater than or equal to means equal to this information we will advance the speed to this node and q will come here so now after this q we can insert this 30 okay let's take another example let's say we have to insert a 60 here okay let's take a fresh diagram to just to understand this Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, and fifty. We have to insert, let's say, sixty. So this is the start, and here is p and q is null. So sixty is greater than this, so we will move p here and q here. Sixty is greater than this, so p will come here and q will come here. Sixty is greater than this, so p will come here and q will come here. Sixty is greater than this, so p will come here and q will come here. 60 is greater than this so p will again move further and q will come here so p will become null okay so p has become null and this is the terminating condition of uh, this should be the terminating condition of this while loop of this traversal so in this traversal we should apply one more condition that if p is not null then only we should progress okay so another condition has come if p is not null because if p, is, p has become null we cannot compare the information of p node with the key value so if p is not null and key is greater than or equal to p dot info then only perform these two shiftings otherwise don't do that okay now let's say the p has become null so what we have to do we have to insert the 60 after this q node so this is working fine q is at a valid node and we will insert an information key after this q node so this is working fine only difference is that we have to apply this condition so this completes the definition of this function ordered insertion fine so this is a very simple one now two very simple algorithms let's say we have to perform the traversal but we have to perform the traversal recursively okay we have to perform the traversal recursively let's say this is the linked list this is a b c and d and this is c address start so since we have to perform the traversal recursively we will first print the information of this node so let's say we are going to display the information of the first node write start dot info now after this we will have to start the traversal from this node okay so if we have to if you have printed the information of this node then we will go to this node and print the information so for this i need to call this function traverse traversal start dot next Okay, and now I'm passing the this was the start. Start dot next will keep the address of this node and next time we will perform the traversal from this node. So traversal start dot next. After this it will start from here. So after this it will start from here. After this <coughs> it will start from the null because after this we have a null. So null is the terminating condition. So we will be doing these two operations, it means we will be printing the information and then going to the last going to the next node only if a start is not null in case the start is null we will not do this 
so this is the base condition start null is the base condition so this is the recursive traversal okay now what if we exchange these two informations okay it means the traversal function is written like this let's say the name of the function is t and the start is here condition says that if a start is not null then we are going to call this function t with the start dot next and then write t dot info okay so we are calling this function again and again what will happen in this case we have just exchanged these two what will happen in this case if, if you see that let's say the address of this node is 100 address of this node is 200 address of this node is 300 address of this node is so what happens that whenever we call a function an activation in this case see that let's say the address of this node is 100 address of this node is 200 address of this node is 300 address of this node is 400 so what happens that whenever we call a function an activation record is maintained so we are starting with the address 100 here the start is containing 100 so the activation record of activation record of 100 address will be called say that this uh, code when these two statements are ex exchanged our activation record for 200 is the next address 200 so this function is called so activation record with 200 is called our activation record for 200 address is maintained because we are calling this function with this address now this will this is not null 200 is not null so it will again call a function start dot next and the address of next node is 300 so start is containing the address 300 if we go to the definition of the function so again an activation record will be maintained and the start has address 300 so 300 is also not null so t start dot next means it has a next field 400 it has a next field that is containing the address 400 so this function is called with the address 400 okay now 400 again call the function again call the function but here now see the address of uh, ad address of next node is null so the function is called with a null address so activation record with the null address is called so if active if a start is not null then only we perform this if a start is not null what we are going to do we will terminate the function so if we terminate the function the activation record will be pop and we are now at this position so this part of this function has already been called okay now we are going to this part so this part says that print the information of the node having address 400 so this node is having address 400, uh, 400 has an information d so d is printed after this this function is terminating because all these statement have got executed now we are coming to this one the address 300 so for address 300 this function has already been called we have we are now not the t dot information it is star dot information so now we are going to print the information of address 300 node so this is c so since this uh, part is complete in this function it means the function is totally complete this was the last statement in the function so activation record will be popped now we'll come to this activation record so this activation record is for the start 200 start having address 200 so this is the node with 200 address this part has already completed we will come to this start dot info so information of this node is b so b has got printed the function can terminate now so activation record will be popped we will now come to the activation record 100 it means the node having address 100 so this part is already over we are coming to this one we will print the information of node having had address 100 as a and then this function can terminate 
and this activation record can be popped. Now if you see that what has happened that we have printed the information in the reverse order. You can also say that this uh, code when these two statements are ex exchanged is doing the reverse traversal. Okay, This is doing the reverse traversal. So like we can name it at RT. RT means the reverse traversal. Thank you.